decorated incompetent here with more mistakes in World of Tanks. I'm driving the Skoda T24 Czechoslovakian Tier 6 medium tank. We're on Sand River. It's a Tier 8 battle. That's right, I'm bottom tier. I'm down here with the light. Great. Now, ostensibly, this is this video is about mistakes. They're not my mistakes. Them are the mistakes made by that Tiger T you can see in front of me. And they're pretty elementary mistakes. So let's watch them and learn. But what this video is really about is me showing off getting an Oskins medal. Now an Oskins medal is where you kill three enemy tanks or tank destroyers that are two tiers higher than you, which is quite some going. I've only managed a couple of these medals and this is one of them. So let's have a look. I've come up to my usual place on Sand River defending the west. Now, uh, my turret versus these tier 8 monsters is not going to do all that much. So, I'm going to have to limit myself to spotting mostly. I do get a good bit of luck in that no one really tries to shoot at me. But then, I only expose a tiny sliver of my turret. I hide a lot of the time, keep on breaking spots, and and then there's an easier target for them to shoot, which you'll see shortly. Oh, here's a target opportunity. Kobe 85 making a dash for it. Don't hang around to use the third shot in my autoloader. I've certainly been seen. I don't have six cents on this tank yet, on this crew. And there's certainly a load of p people in position to shoot me. The T-34, the M6, the IS. Oh, no longer a chaffy. Ha ha ha. So defending this side is a matter of spotting the enemy and then taking shots as the opportunity arises but you don't hang around too long and you don't go over the crest until you know the centre of the field is empty you won't get shot in the arse now here's the Tiger 2 he's about to make his first elementary mistake there can you tell what it is? the Tiger 2 has got pretty good armour it's got especially good armour on its front of its turret, the top half of its hull, the front of its hull, and then the side armour is notable because it's quite strong and it's very uh, it's flat and sloped, so it's ideal for side scraping. And then the lower glacis on the front of the hull is weak, so he's made two mistakes here. He's driven up, he's exposed He's on a slope, so his tank is tipped back, which expo makes his lower glacis even flatter and even weaker. He's exposed his lower glacis. If that TVB VTU pokes over the ridge, he'll have a shot at it. And well, the, the real big one is he's totally exposed his side. He's put it at 90 degrees to the people who are going to shoot at it. The KV-85, the T-34, the M6, the IS. They've all got his side. And the side armor's good. It's not good enough when it's perpendicular. That is a big mistake. And he's very lucky not to get punished for it. They all seem to be busy with something else. But that's, I think that's more luck than judgment by him on his behalf. And he's still sitting there. He's that T thirty four eighty five will have spotted him and he's still sitting there. And in the position he's in, the enemy artillery can probably shoot him. If he if the artillery there we go. He's having a go. Luckily for the Tiger two, the artillery missed. Oh, 
Oh, here comes a panicking tier 8 tank. Hooray! An opportunity. That's my first tier 8 kill. Here is the second big elementary mistake by the Turgor 2. Look who's in the center of the map. The T-34, an M6, an S, and an LTTB. And that Tiger 2 has gone to face off against a T-26E4 and a... T-29. So he's had to push his, put his front armor towards them. And he's totally exposed his sight. There we go. His side and his rear are totally exposed to all the guys in the center. And that is why I didn't go and support that Tiger 2. I didn't go down in the dip and run round the corner. It's bad enough being shot at in the front by those two tanks that are around the corner. But to be shot at in the rear by everyone else, I just wouldn't survive. And I wouldn't do any damage either. Because I'm not going to penetrate a T26E4 in the front. Unless I manage to get shoot one of his weak spots nor the T-29 never get through his turret on the front and the Tiger 2 has he realised his mistake tried backing up but simply wasn't fast enough to get couldn't get out of there in time so I'm back to doing what I usually do bit of spotting, bit of opportunity shooting ooh, an LTTB now that thing's got tough armour on the front that I wouldn't be able to penetrate, it's only at this range. But side armor. No, someone else has stolen the kill from me. Bah! Now there's only the T26E4 around the corner. I could dash around it, because he's got slow track traverse and he's got slow turret traverse, and hope to circle of death him. But there's still that T34 IS and M6, and they just shred me as I go around the corner and be occupied with the T26E4. So I don't. I carry on being patient. Oh, there's a T34, nice and side on for... Five hits, there we go. Second tier 8 kill. Now, the T 34 is gone, the LTTB is gone, the M6 is gone, the IS has moved away, the only th and all the TDs, other TDs have been spotted. So now it's worth going for that T26E4. I should have waited a bit longer and let him take a shot at the Ferdinand who's coming around the corner. I need to waste his shot and I'll have all that reload time in which to aim up and shoot him. But I'll go anyway. And I'm certainly keeping him occupied. I've knocked his tra tracks off. And now I'm only exposing my turret. I'm dodging backwards and forwards. And you can see his slow turret traverse causing him to oversteer. He's trying to, sh to get his gun onto my turret, but I'm moving forwards or backwards. So he turns, and then as soon as he's just about got his t gun to me, I'm going backwards again. And his turret can't keep up. And that was my third tier 8 kill and the Oskins medal. So now it's only cleaning up, so let's speed it up a bit. Now, the good bit about the western flank is once you've cleared your way through, you can push around into the north and then. Mop up any artillery who's hanging around, but he ran off, and then sweep round into the flank and the rear of the people in the east. And Ed, well, like, he wasn't expecting me. Whack him in the side, and there's my Oskins medal. Oh no, not my Oskins medal. I didn't kill him. <sighs> and S35. Now that's a rebadged tank, weak in the upper armour, but tough in the hull. So I've taken his tracks off and the second shot just did nothing. But, but here's his upper armour gone for my fifth kill. 1600 damage and an Oskins medal and the win. Hooray!